And now we're going to talk about the advanced way of connectivity and the advanced way of moving from the center. And this involves what we call the body wave. Now, if you look at a yin yang, it's not just half black, half white with a straight line in between. Okay, there is a curve to it, all right? And that is um, a nod towards the wave of movement that starts in your body and ends up in your arm. It's not like we do our form in a wooden way like this, okay? The movement starts at the waist and it goes down to the wrist. What happens here, happens here. But there is a time delay. It's a bit like cracking a whip. The wave of movement goes out along the body. So I'll give you an example. We could do a posture, spear fingers lift to the heavens. This would be the basic way of doing it. And then into double dragon palm. With the body wave, now it looks like this. Yes, good. All right, now, probably a lot of people are looking at that going, yeah, great, but how do you do that? It is quite difficult to do. And we spent a long time practicing basic exercises to learn this way of moving before we were ever able to put it into our form. And there are two really simple ones. The first is this, just overlapping flat circles. If you see what my waist is doing, look, I turn to the left, it sends my arm out. I turn to the right, it draws it back in again. Left. Right, can you see the phase delay between my waist and my wrist? And it makes the other hand do the opposite. Send it out, bring it back, okay? And then you just do both at the same time. See? There's another exercise, which is block low, high, chop down, and across, swing in the other arm, two. So you see, if I really exaggerate how the waist is leaving, leading, can you see from the lines of my t-shirt? And then, if you want to be a show-off, do them both at the same time. <laughs> Only kidding.